the JLR Guru channel. Today I'm going to show you around the 21 model year Jaguar XF Saloon. So we'll start by having a quick look around the car, then we'll go into the interior, we'll have a look at the new Pivi Pro system in brief. Uh, there is also another video on my channel all about that. Uh, so let's get into it. Okay, so let's take a look around the outside of the car first. Uh, I'm just going to flash a quick photo of the previous model onto the screen, just so you can see the differences. So let's start at the front. So immediately obvious is its new face. Same shape as the previous model, uh, but brand new headlights and grille and an all new front bumper. So we've got the twin J-blade headlights at the front the Jaguar diamond pin grille does have the LED animated indicators also and we've also got the all new bumper with the twin side vents in there as well down the side of the car only subtle changes new uh, variations of alloy wheels these are the optional 19 inch items new side vents and new door handles with the surround zone, similar to that of a Range Rover or a Range Rover Sport. So the rear of the vehicle remains largely unchanged. Uh, the only real difference being the bottom of the rear bumper, which no longer features any uh, exhaust. As you can see, there is a downpipe just underneath there. Um, instead, you get this rather nice uh, balance just to finish off the, uh, the rear bumper. Power tailgate has now become standard and there is plenty of room in here for two suitcases, uh, push chairs, uh, decent sized so uh, shopping trip will go in there, no problem at all. And this is also where the AdBlue top up is located. And as you can see, you can close the boot from the key or from the interior of the vehicle or just using the button on the boot lid itself. So that's a quick look around the exterior of the car where uh, there's not too many uh, changes to mention. Uh, the main changes do come in the form of an all new interior for the XF. So let's get into that and have a look. So the interior size uh, remains the same over the previous model. Um, this particular one is trimmed in the full ebony black leather interior with ebony stitch. In the rear, there are isofix points on the two outer seats, vents for rear passengers, and three headrests. Door cards are all new and uh, a complete redesign similar to that of the uh, F-Pace which you can also see on the channel, the 21 model year. This particular car has the Meridian sound system upgrade but uh, the, the speakers are silver nonetheless. Also has the uh, engine wood trim finisher, a no cost option but you can choose it. Uh, and then it also features the Range Rover style switches, again first featured on the uh, F-Pace 21 model year. Moving into the front, firstly with the door card again, Meridian branded speakers, new style switches, again similar to that found on the Range Rover with the mirror controls, plenty of cubby spaces, Jaguar kick plates, electric seats is standard now across the XF range. And the XF now also gets the new steering wheel 
and the PIVI Pro system with the 11.4 inch uh, digital screen. This particular one being the XFS non R dynamic uh, features the twin analog dials with a small LCD screen in the center. Sitting in the driver's seat, you'll notice there is a slight change. The dashboard has been lowered ever so slightly. Uh, it's a very subtle change uh, so that the sweep round from the door cards is actually lower uh, and doesn't intrude too much into your line of sight. We've got the new style heat events. As mentioned, we've got the 11.4 inch PIVI Pro system. As you can see, a super clear screen. It does have a slight curve to it, so it doesn't look like someone's just plonked an iPad uh, on your dashboard or if had forgotten about it. And as I say, this being the S model or the entry level version, uh, this actually gets analog dials with a small LCD screen in the center. Slightly revised indicator and wiper stalks. The steering wheel is the all new variant with the hidden until lit buttons. And the climate control switches, again, same as those in the 21 model year F-Pace. Uh, really, really nice uh, system to use. Simply turn the dials or you can actually pull it outwards to change the function, such as the fan speed. And then it also gets the new style baseball gear selector. Very, very simple to use. Button on the uh, front of it, pull that in, pull it back into drive. And away you go there's no handbrake to release it does it for you reverse is engaged just the same and then if you want to park the vehicle just hit this p button here everything is done for you you can also adjust the mode so you'll have dynamic mode for sporty driving comfort for day-to-day -day use uh, you'll also have ice rain and snow in there as well so if the uh, weather does take a turn for the worst this rear wheel drive car will cope with it superbly you've also got in the center keys out two cup holders plenty of storage space for coins and so on just back there a second and then underneath the armrest you have a power outlet a usb and a lightning usb connector there as well i've just started the car up so that i can demonstrate to you the fantastic surround camera system uh, check out the video on the f-pace if you want to see how it works in that car but it's very similar to this one if you have a look here we've got our reverse camera working at the rear and uh, on this side we can actually pick up these little sort of i call them light points so if you choose that one it shows you a 3d picture of the car on the screen and what's actually around it so if you were looking to park next to a high curb for example you choose that one and if i turn the steering wheel slightly you can see the front wheels are actually moving. So you can see exactly where you are, exactly where you're gonna go with the yellow guidance line as well. And let's take the front one now as well. So if you were wondering if you were gonna miss that curb in the drive-through, again, just uh, pull up the camera and uh, have a look. And the way you can actually pull this up without being in reverse, if I put the car back into park, is little symbol is always here on your PIVI Pro screen. There we are, hopefully you've enjoyed this short video on the introduction to the Jaguar XF21 model here. I'm just gonna briefly switch over now and show you an XF Sport Brake. Uh, same interior, so uh, we won't go inside the car, but we'll just have a look around uh, how that now looks as well. So just before I end the video, a short look at the 2021 model year XF Sport Brake. This particular one uh, is a R Dynamic, so it gets the black grill inserts in the lower bumper and it's also had the optional exterior black pack applied so not only does the grill surround uh, now go black the diamond pins within it also go black as well the side vents go gloss black as do the window surrounds and also we lose 
the door surrounds on the R Dynamic. This one's also fitted with the optional 20 inch alloy wheels. Quite expensive, so you've got to really want them at £2,000 as an option. But I'm sure you'll agree with the black uh, exterior pack, the black paint, I think you've got to have the, uh, the full black wheels as well, haven't you? Um, also got the gloss black roof rails there, and we've also got the privacy glass on the side as well. And just another look at those wheels. Really, really suit the car as well. And then new for the 21 model year XF and XF Sport Brake, if you do opt for the exterior black pack, everything does indeed glow, uh, go black. But now also, unlike the previous model, you get gloss black Jaguar Leaper badge and gloss black XF badge. There we go, so that's a brief look at the XF Sport Brake 21 model year. I will do a separate video on this car in its entirety, so stay tuned for that one. Um, do subscribe to be notified when that goes live. So thank you very much for watching the video. There's plenty more content to come. So if you could like, share and subscribe, it would mean the world to me. And it will also mean I can notify you when I upload the next video. For now, thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.